The best deer hunting cartridge has been the source of many arguments at campfires and deer camps around the world. But Dave and I are going to talk about our 10 favorite deer hunting cartridges today on the podcast. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Are you sick of paying retail prices for venison? Did you know that there's free venison available inside nearby white-tailed deer? That's right. All you need is a rifle and the ability to shoot that deer, and all the venison you need will be yours, not to mention a handsome decoration for your living room wall. Chris, let's talk about deer hunting ammo. Oh, Dave, you're so right. And of course, with ever increasing inflation and food prices, hunting is looking mighty profitable right now, especially uh, for saving money. And if you want to save money on ammunition, make sure you click that link down in the description or the pinned comment. Get your free $20 off coupon from ammo.com. And while you're there, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. Be a part of the community here and part of the conversation at ammo.com. Now, there is a lot of debate over what the best deer cartridge is. And we're going to go through our 10 favorites here. Uh, but I look forward to reading your comments on what your favorite deer cartridge is. And we're going to start off with the American classic, the 308 Winchester. The 308 Win. I always, always preface this one by saying you're going to find the most available ammo for this one for cheap FMJ, the highly specialized deer loads. Um, the 308 Win really does it all. It really does, Dave. It's, it's one of those cartridges that it's like if you have to pick one rifle, if you're going to have one rifle, let's say it's the apocalypse, the zombie apocalypse has, has come, and we've got to both hunt for food and we've got to defend ourselves, the 308 Winchester makes a great choice. Yep, uh, the police use it in their line of work. It's still mm -hmm. used in the military constantly. It's just such a versatile little thing. Yeah, the 308 Winchester, in terms of deer hunting, is a great choice because it's got a nice manageable recoil. It's not too heavy, but you've got a lot of power at the end of that barrel, and there are so many different hunting rounds available for 308. And another choice that has been classic for deer hunters for decades is the 30 6 Springfield. 30 out six, which uh, you put its performance side by side with the 308 win, and you'd have to be pretty particular to point out any glaring differences. Naturally, 308 was designed to replace the 30 out six, so it really mm -hmm. just boils down to whether you want that short or long action in your rifle. No, Dave, you're absolutely right. They are almost identical in terms of ballistics. Now, I'll say that maybe modern hunting loads might be a tad more powerful than the 308, but not to the point that the deer is going to be able to tell the difference. And I think that's really what it comes down to is what's your preference as far as 30 calibers? Do you have that old 30 out 6 hunting rifle that your grandpa or your father or, you know, some relative handed down to you? Then you don't have to sell it and go get a 308. You can just hold on to that heirloom and enjoy it because it's gonna get the job done, especially with all the different hunting rounds available right now for 30 out six. This next one on our list is gonna be the minimum caliber allowed in most states for centerfire rifle hunting, and that would be the 243 Winchester. Some people say it's strictly meant for vermin hunting, but if you, if you stay within range and you choose the right bullet, the 243 will get the job done. It really does, and I think the beautiful part about the 243 Winchester is the low recoil, and I think that's what a lot of people like about it because it's really easy for youth hunters or maybe those that are very recoil sensitive to handle the 243 and handle it very well and be able to put that shot where it needs to be. Lighter rifle as well. Mm -hmm. If you plan on covering a lot of ground in search of your white tail, then you're going to appreciate that very slightly lighter rifle all the same. And now another one that's another great choice, another classic hunting round that's great on deer is the 270 Winchester. Yeah, now this one's a lot more powerful than the 243. Mm -hmm. This one's been successfully used to harvest moose and elk ever since its introduction. You're getting that wider bullet and uh, you're still getting a pretty decent ammo selection, although now we're starting to stray away from the super mainstream, so don't expect quite the variety. Yeah, that's the only downside to a couple of these cartridges. You're not going to get that availability that you would with a 308 or a .30-06. Uh, still plenty of options available for the 270 Winchester. Incredibly popular in deer hunting camps around the world uh, and has been taken on safari by none other than Jack O'Connor himself, the biggest proponent of the 270 Winchester. Great option. Now, another one that's a bit newer to the scene and is all the hotness right now is the 6.5 Creedmoor. Everyone loves a 6.5 Creedmoor. It was yep. developed strictly for long-distance shooting. 
Mm -hmm. But naturally, the properties which made it great for, for bat shooting also made it great for taking whitetail. But if you live in a densely forested area or any other kind of landscape where long distance shots aren't going to present themselves, the 6.5 Creedmoor isn't really going to let you see all of its potential in action. No, Dave, you're absolutely right. For shorter range shots, the 6.5 Creedmoor is maybe not as good as it could be for longer range shots. Now, that's to say that it can't get the job done. It most definitely will. You know, the Creedmoor really becoming popular because it gives you that flatter trajectory than, say, a 308, but a lot less recoil, which is why I think it's popular with a lot of shooters. Yeah, it has a relatively mild push, a very gradual uh, recoil impulse. And that really is helpful, especially when you've got a long time or a long range session plan for the weekend. Uh, it's not too difficult to find ammunition for it. It's becoming very, very popular. Now let's shift gears a little bit here on this one, Dave. Let's talk about hunting with your AR-15 because there are a lot of states and territories out there that will allow you to hunt with the rifle, but they won't allow you to hunt with a 223 Remington or a 556 NATO. So you're going to need to step it up a little bit. And the first one on our list for your AR-15 rifle is going to be the 6.5 Grendel. 6.5 Grendel. It was conceived as an improvement over to 5.56. It's got mm -hmm. a longer range and more stopping power. It's, it's a really capable deer cartridge and fairly easy to convert an AR-15 to firing it. Yeah, all you need is a new bolt, a new barrel, and a new magazine, and your AR-15 can shoot 6.5 Grendel. The 6.5 Grendel is my personal favorite recommendation uh, because it gives you that longer range while still maintaining that stopping power that you need for whitetail. Now, another one that's becoming a lot more popular for deer hunting but wasn't initially made for it is the 300 Blackout. In yeah, a 300 blackout, your range is going to be pretty much limited to 150 yards tops for deer mm -hmm. hunting, but that gets the job done in places like New England. Yeah, now one thing I do want to caveat with the 300 blackout is you need to be using supersonic ammunition for hunting purposes. Now, I do know that they've come out with some subsonic hunting rounds, but you're really not going to get the benefits of the trajectory that you would with a supersonic round. If you were only going to buy it, one rifle, period, and wanted something you could use for hunting and home defense, the 300 Black really is a strong contender. It really is because you've got that options between subsonic and supersonic ammo. All you got to do is pull the mag out and stick a fresh one in. Also, if you're allowed to hunt with the suppressor, 300 Blackout Suppressed is a beautiful thing, both for home defense and for deer hunting, so it really combines the best of both worlds. Now, the one thing that some people have to deal with when deer hunting is what we refer to as straight wall cartridges. Now, some states require this. They don't allow you to use the classic bottleneck cartridge. And if we're going to talk about deer hunting rounds with a straight wall cartridge in your AR-15, we can't ignore the 450 Bushmaster. This round absolutely slaps. I mean, not just the deer, but your shoulder as well. This is part of a group of rounds known as the Thumper Rounds, uh, referred to by Lieutenant Colonel Jeff Cooper. May he rest in peace, of course. But he pioneered this concept of being able to convert the AR-15 to shoot something that was over 44 caliber but could take down a deer in one shot. And the 450 Bushmaster is probably the most popular of these on the market today. The 450 Bushmaster, you've got ammunition manufacturers, multiple options who are making this round right now. It's a great choice if you live in those states or if you just want a thumper round that you can find ammo easy for. You can't go wrong with the 450 Bushmaster. Now let's shift gears a little bit here, Dave. I got a couple of classic deer hunting cartridges I want to talk about. And when we're talking about deer, we cannot forget the 3030. No, no, it's the quintessential lever action hunting round. And to be sure, you are limited to a lever action with the uh, 3030. It's declined a little bit in popularity recently, mm -hmm. but it's it's always going to maintain its status as one of the woods guns, effective to about 200 yards. You know, I think if you want that classic deer hunting experience, like you said, with a lever gun, just has so much nostalgia surrounding it it's just it seeps through the gun yep S steeper bullet drop like i said mm -hmm. very very limited effective range but um most people are probably aren't taking their white tail beyond 200 yards anyway the 30 30 makes a great choice it's nice and light it's easy to handle and it's easy to carry through the woods which does make a difference if you've got a long way to go to your tree stand now if we're going to talk lever guns and big cartridges that can thump your shoulder that aren't in an ar-15 we've got to talk about the 4570 government Absolutely classic, and that this is one of the more powerful ones on our list. Make no mistake mm -hmm. about it. That 45 70 basically means it was a 45 caliber bullet on top of 70 grains of black powder. 
Now, if you're a hand loader, please do not load your 4570 with 70 grains of smokeless powder because that's going to end up in a bad day. The 4570 almost died off a couple of decades ago, but there was this big resurgence with it. If I'm not mistaken, Marlin released a couple of rifles within the 4570, really got some traction. And the advancements in smokeless powder have really kind of pushed this round to its limits. And man, there are some really powerful 4570 loads out there. There sure are. We do got to point out this is not a good rifle for rookies. Although the 4570 yeah. is extremely accurate, mm -hmm. it's only accurate once you've learned how to handle its very steep uh, bullet drop. So you're going to have a, a not flat trajectory, and getting the hang of that takes uh, takes a lot of practice. Got to mention, it's got some recoil to it as well. You've got to get used to that. But man, if you want power, that 4570 really can deliver a punch to any whitetail that's on the wrong end of your hunting rifle. So tell me down in the comments, what's your favorite deer hunting cartridge? What did we leave off our our list and what did we forget? Should we have, you know, included the 7mm OT6 or are there other cartridges out there that we didn't include? Let me know down in the comments and make sure you get out to the range and practice to do that. Get down in the, that pinned comment or the description. Get your free $20 off coupon to ammo.com and we'll see you out on the range.